Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Coach Sean Brady and his cross country team were on the road this past weekend at the LSU Invitational. Let's check out the highlights. Junior Joseph LaGrange moved back atop the Southeastern Louisiana Cross Country leaderboard as the Baton Rouge native sparked the Lions to a third place finish Saturday at the LSU Invitational out at Highland Road Park. LaGrange placed ninth with a time of 27 minutes, 35.1 seconds on the 8K course. For the men, Paul Arthur continued his strong running, placing 14th, one spot in front of freshman Harry Wiggins. Matt Mouton placed 21st and Kyle Rudolph finished 28th. We caught up with head coach Sean Brady and Joseph LaGrange along with teammate Paul Arthur to get their thoughts on the team's third place finish. You know, the times weren't indicative of what the, their performances actually were. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a new course. It's very challenging. Lots of hills, lots of change in elevation. Uh, our guys were fantastic. Joe LaGrange really came to life today, and I, I thought that uh, that was overdue. And, and I was happy to see him at this point in time of the season just assert himself as our number one guy right now. This is like a familiar course to me. I used to run in this during high school. The last course, I've only ran it once before, and uh, it just, I, I do much better on this course every time. I feel comfortable. I feel like this is where I belong. You get the momentum going, and then you have to stop, and then you have to get it going, and then you stop, and it's, it's a lot harder. And there's a lot better teams here this time. The men's cross country team will train this coming week before traveling to Mississippi College to run in the Choctaw Open October 13th, and then will run in the Southland Conference Championships October 26th over in Beaumont, Texas. On the ladies' side of the meet, Heather Fitzhenry continued her strong running, finishing 15th overall, while guiding the Lady Lions to a fourth place finish in the 6K race. Senior Lindsay Toops from Gonzales and Bethany Burst finished 20th and 21st, respectively. Sophomore Ashley Fance finished 30th, and freshman Letitia Shaban, despite spraining her ankle in the first mile of the race, finished 33rd. I felt ready, but uh, last week, it was a lot easier course than this week. Oh my gosh, the hills are just crazy. We weren't even ready for them. We haven't trained for hills, but it kind of, it went well. We just flowed through it. This uh, upcoming week, we're gonna be training pretty hard and then kind of back off and then go back hard again before conference. So we're putting in some work. <laughs> I'm training a lot more um, strength runs, a lot more, um, you know, 400s, 600s, to build the strength rather than, um, I work better with shorter distance, I'm an 800 runner, so doing a lot more shorter distance to strengthen my legs rather than doing the long, continuous miles um, kind of got me a lot stronger to be able to just hang in there and push through with all I can. You know, I'm very happy with our, our performances today. Uh, it is, it's a much, much diff more difficult course. Lots of hills. Um, the uh, level competition is, is appropriate, right? now for this time of year but it's a it's kind of a muggy day and it's a it's a very hilly course but uh, we ran well I thought that um, we uh, we still have some of the girls in the back our, our four or five and six runners need to need to improve but uh, our top finishers are, are running really well right now the ladies like the men will continue to train with one more meet at Mississippi College in two weeks and then head off to the Southland Conference Championships October 26th in Beaumont Texas a very impressive showing by the Southeastern Cross Country team at the LSU Invitational. Let's go back out to Damon Sunday, this time at the University Center, as the Lady Lion volleyball team took on McNeese and Lamar. Here's the action. Senior transfer Becky Bekelja playing her former team, the McNeese State Cowgirls, as Bekelja with the serve. Cowgirls on the attack. Dig by Lindsay Young. Bekelja sets it back over the net. On the attack. Set up by Bekelja. And the attack by Veronica Turk returned uh, Todd the dig. The attack by Shelby Devlin and the kill for the Lady Lions. Veronica Turk on the serve and McNeese State sends it out of bounds. Service ace for Turk. The Lady Lions a point. Dig by Todd, set up by Bekelja. Devlin on the kill. Cherish Crone. Another service ace for the Lady Lions. Crone on the dig, set up by Bekelja. The quick attack by Courtney Donald for the kill. Southeastern looking for a win in its Southland Conference opener as Lindsay Young the serve. Dig by Megan McMillan, set up by Bekelja. And again, Courtney Donald on the kill.
Crone to Bakeljan. Again, Courtney Donnell on the attack. Return by McNeese. And I can't get it back across the net. Point for the Lady Lions. Taylor Buckner with the dig. And Veronica Turk, the freshman, with the kill for Southeastern. As the Lady Lions win the match. Three to one over McNeese State. Lady Lions looking to make it two in a row in Southland Conference play, hosting the Lamar Lady Cardinals. Early kill there from Courtney Donald. Dig down low, Taylor Buckner getting down on the court. Lamar looking to return it and they can't. Wendy Krell for Lamar with the serve. Crone the dig, quick set. Donald on the attack. Now back over McMillan the dig. Bekelja again the set. Veronica Turk. And Lamar. With a hitting error. Unable to get it back across the net. Bekelja sets it up for Veronica Turk in the kill. Cherish Crone on the serve. Tip by the Lady Lions. McMillan the dig the set by Bakelja and a quick attack and kill for Courtney Donald dig by Buckner set by Bakelja Grayson slams it to the court another lady line point dig by Crone set by Bakelja back to Donald for the kill Service error for Lamar as the Cardinals put it right into the net. Now Crone. A serve, Krell on the attack, and a block by Tamara Grayson. And the Lady Lions would go on to take the first two sets from Lamar, but fall in five. A hard fought five set match. And Megan McMillan ties her career high with 26 digs. Thanks, Damon, and congratulations to Coach Gino Fregoli and his Lady Lion volleyball team as they knocked off McNeese State in the University Center. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap it up here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies to make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The Discount double check move? That's my touchdown dance. You're a dancer? I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Count on Alexis du Corbier in Hammond for the discounts you deserve. Here it is, a cool, slightly transformed, just a bit of a break from the norm. Welcome to summer with Bud Light Lime. It's everything you love about Bud Light. With a twist of 100% natural lime flavor for ultimate refreshment. Bud Light Lime. Summer is calling. Move, 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 oh man. To hit you and to hit you quick for the summertime. 